Doris, when you said he was making excuses, and one of them was sleepwalking. Speaking of sleepwalking, this happened years ago which it was scary. There were many days that Boris was found sleepwalking in the house, and no, it wasn't fake, he wasn't acting, he was actually for real randomly sleepwalking quietly. Oh my god. I've never knew Boris sleepwalks. But what has it got to do with Boris killing people? Well, Doris, you see, some days way back in the future, that Boris was experiencing scary things. He will never stop watching horror movies. I don't know why he was obsessed with horror movies back then, and I've asked him a question at his room door, which was, why do you have a huge passion over scary movies? And his response was, I love to watch ghosts and spirits flying around attacking people, and being invincible. And he also said, he wants to be a ghost because it was fun. My serious response to him after that was, Boris, are you insane? Being ghosts ain't fun. And the first thought in my head that scared me that I thought my son would commit suicide, he always wanted to be a ghost. But he was only 16 back then. And that was insane for a young adult to say anything like that. Especially saying it in front of his mother. Me. But hang on. Do you remember anything fishy or strange about Boris back then? Did you see anything strange of what he was up to after that, when he was only 16 years of age? Yes. Yeah. I definitely knew the first time Boris did the creepiest thing ever in my house. Especially the first time seeing him sleepwalk. So back in the day, back in the 90s, Boris was feeling scared that he thought he saw a ghost. It was absolute nonsense to me, to be honest, I've never believed in ghosts ever. Boris, what's the matter? There's a ga 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 ghost, in my room staring at me. Boris. What did I say about the other day when you were watching the killer clown movie? Once you've saw that you are just being a little sensitive if you've saw one, or a ghost. I ain't got time for games. And I don't believe in ghosts, ghosts ain't real. But mum, I saw one with my own eyes, near my window looking at me. I'm not blind or anything there was one that looked exactly like me but all dark with glowing eyes. Please. You've gotta believe me. Fine. Show me. What? It was just right there. It was just standing right there. That ghost looked just like me but all dark with wild glowing eyes with a creepy smile. Boris, this all sounds like a joke. And you've now wasted a bit of my time with absolute nonsense of seeing a ghost in your own room while you're asleep after you finished college. But mum please, you've gotta believe me on this one. Quiet. I've had enough of your lies Boris, you've been watching too many scary and horror movies which made your brain fall into tricks thinking you can see creepy things. But mum I'm not kidding I swear I've saw one and it was dark standing here I then I woke up feeling Stop scared Stop it! I had enough of your games, I ain't got time for your games, stop yelling at me and go to bed now, and i will tell your father when he gets home from work about your behavior. And after we had that huge argument, and I told him to go to bed, he starts crying, and crying, until he falls asleep. When he didn't change his clothes into his gym jams, and didn't put himself under the bed sheets. Later, at night, suddenly, I heard a creepy feeling about Boris, the other night. No 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 ah ha ha. Oh my god. Boris, what the heck are you doing? Boris. Can you hear me? This is your mother speaking. Please respond to me. Are you okay? Huh? Am I still in a dream? Oh my, Boris, you've nearly made me call the ambulance. Anyways, why did you walk into a table with my own special coffee on there? What is wrong with you? Have you been secretly drinking? Huh? Mummy, I don't know what am I doing here. I've just had the scariest nightmare of my life. And I was probably sleepwalking if I was really walking from down here with my eyes closed. Boris, don't start this argument again. 
Hey! Hang on. You were actually asleep while walking. Is this a game, son? Are you setting up a prank on me to creep me out by watching you acting like that? Tell me the truth. Mummy. I think I was, I haven't got a clue how I managed to come down here by myself. I feel like someone was taking control of my mind, and telling me what to do while I'm asleep, I had the scariest dream ever. There was an evil version of me, talking to me through a dark room, he said towards me. Do you want to play a game, while grinning and scheming, and that thing that looked like me looked like the one I saw in my room staring at me while taking a nap. Trust me mother. I know you think I'm a huge fat liar of a son but I seriously need help. I'm so scared. I'm scared to go back to sleep. I'm scared to see the other side of me taking control of my body. Boris. I'm so sorry. The way you feel now and if you believe that there was a ghost you saw when you woke up. We'll need to have help if we do have a ghost living in our home. You can stay in my bedroom for the night if you like. And I'll tell your dad when he comes back from work of what is going on from the last few hours of this late evening. I kind of felt bad the way I was behaving towards him, shouting and yelling for a reason I have got nothing to do about, and not knowing the fact if he was telling the truth or not. And it's my fault for not believing my son that he thinks he saw a ghost. When I don't believe in ghosts. But I didn't like when he feels so emotional and worried in front of me. I felt like I was helping a little boy who is lost into feeling and terror. I'm so sorry Doris, but I think I'll just end it here and excuse me while I'm going to have a break outside my garden because I'm starting to feel emotional after about this story. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead. Okay, I think it's time for you three to leave. Thank you all so much for coming about this boy's situation. Hopefully you'll be alright, and remember, many people are by your sides. Thank you ever so much. We really still do need a lot of help, and I still never want to see my ex-husband ever again, and it feels so strange to becoming a single parent. Thank you to inviting us over and having this big chat, and Kalo needs to get ready for school tomorrow. Goodbye. 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 I am feeling lonely, and I want to make it time to end the right. Fading it too slowly, for those can lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside. All the words you told me, and my reading something different from your eyes.